it's John. Uh, I'm going to do my full gear review tonight for my Appalachian Trail through hike, which is coming up on uh, February 23rd, 2020, uh, starting at Amicalola Falls. So I want to go over my gear uh, that I'm planning to use for the hike. There's a couple things that I'm missing, but otherwise, uh, this is pretty much the full package right here. So um, thanks for watching. Stick with me here for a minute, and I'm going to go through everything. And I'll hopefully be able to give you some weights and things like that as well. So I'm going to start with my sleep system. Um, I'm going to be using the <coughs> Dream Hammock Darien model. Uh, this thing is fantastic. I slept out in the backyard with it recently. Uh, it was easy to set up. I like the integrated bug net. Uh, it's an asymmetrical lay, which is really nice. It's really comfortable. Uh, this thing with the carabiners that hold it and the um, ENO Helios uh, Whoopi Slings comes in at uh, 20.2 ounces. And it, it compresses down real nice. Um, it's a great hammock and I like it a lot. Uh, this is the Hammock Gear uh, Dyneema uh, Composite Fiber Tarp. It is the Winter Palace. So it's a little bigger than your standard tarp. It is um, 12 by 12 with doors. Um, and I'm going to take the hammock stuff out and set that up at some point and show you that set up with the quilts and the, um, the hammock and the tarp and all that. Uh, but this uh, package with the tarp and the stakes and the guy outlines, uh, it comes in at 16.1 ounces. So just about a pound, it really weighs nothing. Um, I saved a good pound and a half switching to this over my previous tarp that I was using. Um, the quilts, this is the uh, Jax R Better Mount Washington 3 underquilt. It is a full length underquilt. Um, it is conservatively rated to 20 degrees. It is uh, fantastic. Um, I've had their Mount Greylock 3, which is a torso length underquilt for many years, and I've never really gotten cold with that. I've had it down to the mid or upper teens. Um, and have been fairly comfortable. I've never really gotten cold. My feet might have gotten cold, but I'm kind of a cold sleeper anyway. Um, but this is the full length. So I, I just recently upgraded to this, the, uh, the full length, so that um, I, don't have any, I don't have any fear of being cold in the Smoky Mountains and stuff. So I really like this. Uh, I ordered it one day. It shipped out that day, and I had it like two days later. Um, Jacks Are Better is a fantastic company. Good customer service. Um, veteran owned and um, I, I own four quilts from them. I, I have you know um, a Shenandoah uh, 40 degree top quilt, the Mount Greylock torso length under quilt, uh, my new Mount Washington full length under quilt and then I also have a Hudson River top quilt which is 20 degrees and it's the same color as this. It's basically the same layout. Um, this one just has a suspension and stuff to hook it to the underneath of the hammock. So looking forward to getting out and trying this out. Um, I have not had a full length under quilt ever. Um, the two quilts, the uh, top quilt weighs in at 23 ounces, and the under quilt weighs in at 20.5. Uh, not much difference there, but they're lightweight, they're highly compressible, and they are uh, extremely comfortable. Uh, let's see what else. Um, let's talk a little bit about my sleep clothes. So I'm going to be using the Smart Wool Merino 250 base layer for my sleep system. Um, I have the quarter zip uh, shirt which is really comfortable. I wore this out in New Mexico on a, a backpacking trip in October and it was really comfortable. I've also got the pants, which are, uh, they go with it. Uh, I'm taking a little heavier pair of wool socks just to sleep in. These will stay clean and dry in a dry bag and those are just to sleep in to keep my feet warm and dry at night. Um, I also bought a, a fleece balaclava, primarily for the Smoky Mountains because Second week of March, it could be really cold. Uh, but this thing's very comfortable. It doesn't weigh very much at all. Um, in fact, um, it's not heavy at all. Uh, but it's very comfortable. And, you know, I can wear this as part of my sleep setup so that uh, my head doesn't get cold uh, in the hammock. Probably going to send this home as soon as I can um, because I do have an uh, Appalachian Gear Company uh, alpaca uh, hat. And it's really comfortable and really warm, uh, but this is just one that's going to stay dry along with my um, other um, items for sleeping so that I don't get cold. 
And all that will be packed into a, a small z pax stub sack. Talk about my cook set here for a second. Um, this cook set does not weigh much at all. It consists of a titanium pot with a lid. It is a 750 milliliter pot with a lid that fits on it nicely. Uh, very lightweight, works really well. Um, I've used it for years and years. Um, isobutane fuel and the BRS 3000T stove. This little stove weighs 0.9 ounces. Um, it's a fantastic little stove. It doesn't weigh anything. Um, I don't store it like this. I just put it together to save time tonight. But the whole thing just stores right down uh, inside my cook set. Of course, the stove will be off, but it's got its own little um, storage baggie that it comes with. And also in there uh, will be my Bic lighter that I'll use to start fires with and light the stove. Um, and then my backup, if something happens to my Bic lighter, or um, a dry container full of strike anywhere matches. That setup right there, fuel, the stove, the matches, the lighter, the canister, 11.6 ounces. And uh, in this video, I'll have a link to my lighter pack site that has all my gears with hyperlinks to the, uh, the respective gear. Uh, the other thing I have is a uh, Sea to Summit collapsible cup. I like this for my coffee in the morning. Uh, I like to mix up, you know, a hot cup of coffee, drink it out of this, boil the water in the pot for um, oatmeal or instant grits and things like that and, and clean up and whatnot. So I don't, I'm going to try to avoid cooking in the pot as much as possible and use plastic bags and, and other things to reconstitute. Um, ramen noodles and stuff I'll probably have to cook in there. But um, this is my uh, coffee cup for in the morning. I have the uh, Tokes titanium um, spork with a polished um, end. If this is really, I like this long handle. You can really get in the bottom of bag, um, the food bags and stuff to eat. And it comes with its own little storage container. And then I have my uh, Appalachian Trail bandana, which uh, I'll be using to wipe things out and uh, for cleanup and stuff like that. So that whole uh, packet right there, those couple of items weighs 3.7 ounces. Now let's talk a little bit about my clothing that I'm going to be wearing. Um, it's going to be cold starting out the end of February. I mean, I know there's going to be nice days, but there's going to be freezing cold nights and there's going to be freezing cold days, um, probably snow, sleet, you name it. Um, so we'll start with some gloves. I bought the Z-Pak Possum Down Fleece Gloves. Um, these things are really comfortable, they're really warm, and they weigh 1.7 ounces. Uh, I mentioned the balaclava a few minutes ago, and that was 2.7 ounces. I forgot to tell you how much that weighed. Um, I have my REI 650 fill puffy down jacket. Uh, this thing's really comfortable. It's really warm. Um, it packs down into one of the pockets, so I can even use it as a pillow at night in my hammock. Um, hopefully, this will stay you know warm and dry, or you know dry and packed away in a backpack unless I stop and need it. Um, but this thing is really super comfortable, and it is uh, 10 ounces and it compresses down, you know, basically to nothing. Um, I have a, my rain jacket, uh, which I ordered from REI. It's the Black Diamond uh, rain jacket. It does have the pit zips, um, elastic, or not elastic, but uh, Velcro sleeves, uh, wristlets, so you can close it up tight. Um, a nice hood. Uh, it's breathable. It had really good ratings. Um, this thing weighs in at... Uh, 10 ounces as well. No, I'm sorry, 9.3 ounces. And then the other thing I broke down and bought after doing a lot of research was um, a pair of uh, rain pants. These are um, REI rain pants. Still got the tag on them. I just got them the other day. The Rainier uh, full zip rain pants. Um, these things weigh in at, um, I think, about 13 ounces. I weighed them and I forgot to record it. Uh, but they got pockets, zip pockets and stuff like that, so um, this will also be another uh, outer layer to help with wind and, and cold and stuff like that. But a really nice setup right there, had really good reviews. Um, the other clothes I'll be wearing, uh, I really like these Columbia hiking pants. They zip off into shorts in warmer weather. I like the idea of having pockets. Um, not that I'm going to load them up, but you know, you go into town and stuff like that, you want to 
a pocket to put your, your wallet in and stuff like that, or your, your card, your money, whatever, your glasses, things like that. So I really like these. They're lightweight, they dry quick, um, they're really super comfortable, um, and then I can zip the legs off in warmer weather. So I like that. Uh, I'll be wearing a lightweight, this is a scout shirt. Um, if it wasn't for um, Boy Scouts and the fire department, I wouldn't have had any clothes to wear. But uh, this is a poly shirt, um, a Badger 4220, I think. It's a really nice shirt. Um, it's got the wider shoulders on it. it it's very lightweight, dries super quick. Um, very comfortable shirts. I have a couple of these and, and that's what I'm primarily gonna be hiking with. Um, I have a similar shirt. It's a, it's a cotton poly blend, primarily cotton, um, but it is a long sleeve uh, version of that shirt basically. Um, and it's really super comfortable. And again, it dries really fast, which is, is critical out there on the Appalachian Trail, either from sweat or rain. Uh, I wanna be able to get my stuff dried out. And then I have a backup pair of shorts and these uh, have a mesh liner and they also double as swimming trunks. Uh, in case I decide I want to you know, take a dip in a creek later on when things warm up and, and whatnot, I'll have those. And those are super lightweight and they dry uh, real quick as well. Uh, that setup right there, um, I think that comes in, all those clothes are about two pounds, not including the Columbia pants, which I'll be wearing. Um, I'm not going to talk much about my Crocs for camp shoes because I'm researching replacing those with something a lot lighter, maybe like a water shoe. Um, I don't need anything I'm really going to walk in much other than crossing streams and then around camp when you get set up. Um, but the Crocs are 13.8 ounces. Those things are, are heavy. So when you're trying to conserve ounces, Crocs might have to go. Uh, I'm wearing my Patagonia zip-up fleece. Uh, this thing is fantastic. It's a, a grid type material. Um, and it's really comfortable and it only weighs in at like 11 ounces. So some other things I have, let's talk a little bit about uh, hygiene. I have uh, my toothpaste, toothbrush, dental floss, and then uh, a pair of tweezers, nail clippers, and a little pocket knife. Those are kind of my hygiene items that I'll be carrying. And um, all together those things are um, I don't know, about four and a half ounces. My water system, uh, carrying the Sawyer Squeeze. It has a really great flow rate. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, and I'll be putting water into a dirty bag water and filtering into smart water bottles. Uh, and then I use the bottom part of a water bottle that I cut off for scooping water out of uh, really shallow springs and things like that, uh, where it's hard to get the bag in and really get a scoop of water. So this works really good. I've been using it for a while. It's really lightweight, doesn't weigh anything. Um, I can stow some stuff in it and um, it works out really fantastic. Um, talk about, uh, we're still on hygiene. So uh, I bought a thing of baby wipes. I hung them out online the other day. We had a, a really windy day and it dried them out in a, an hour or two, whatever. There's about 30 wipes in this, and this thing weighs, let me see if I can find it here real quick. It, I was impressed at how much weight I took off of that. Um, four ounces. Uh, the packet of wipes before I dehydrated them was almost a pound. So, and of course that'll, that'll compress down more once I get the air out of it. But all I have to do is pour a little bit of water on that, and I have a, a baby wipe to wipe down and um, take care of some essential things with. And uh, that's gonna be really fantastic. And then of course, uh, the necessity is a roll of toilet paper and uh, a small trowel to uh, dig a cat hole uh, as needed out in the woods. My first aid kit, I've got some two by twos, some four by fours, some Luco tape, which is really good for uh, blisters and things like that. Um, two rolls of cling and then a triangular bandage with a couple safety pins. Um, probably more for somebody else I come across that's injured than myself uh, with my medical background, being a paramedic and stuff. Um, I really have to scale this down because I tend to take too much. Um, but I'm probably going to also carry uh, maybe a little container of Neosporin, uh, antibacterial type cream, uh, as well as, uh, you know, vitamin, vitamin I, uh, ibuprofen and things like that, along with, you know, prescription meds and things like that that we tend to take. Uh, I have a length of 550 cord for hanging a bear bag. 
Talk, uh, I've got the, uh, the uh, Thermarest Z seat, which is a, a, a good pad to sit on the ground or rocks or whatever when you're, when you're traveling around. Uh, that way you don't have to park your butt on wet ground or wet rock or anything like that, wet cold rock. Uh, very comfortable, super light, really cheap. Good piece of equipment to have right there. I'm going to be wearing the Wigwam uh, liner socks. I started wearing these back early summer and they're really comfortable. Uh, they dry really quick, um, but they keep the blisters down, uh, which I haven't had a problem with since I switched my footwear, which I'll talk about here in a second. But I like wearing that liner sock and um, then I'm going to be wearing uh, smart wool socks hiking socks, crew length socks as well. I may switch to darn tufts, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I've been researching those and um, I've never had a pair. I might get a pair and try them out on a couple training hikes here before we go and uh, go with that. I like the fact that they have a lifetime guarantee on those socks no matter what. So if you wear them out, you just take them out and get another pair. So I like that. Uh, Smart Wool only has like a two year warranty on theirs and these are probably, these are probably eight years old now. So and I've got, I think five pair of these things. I really like them, they're really comfortable. Uh, I've hiked like six or seven miles with soaking wet feet when I fell into a creek and um, you know, I took them off, run them out, put them back on and kept walking and I never developed blisters. So, and that wasn't even with good footwear. So I really like these socks. I like, you know, the smart wool products, but I'm gonna try to get a pair of darn tufts and maybe try them out too. My shoes are the Ultra, uh, I think these are the Lone Peak 3.5s. Uh, but they're the mid, the mid size shoe, the mid ankle. Uh, I like that security of having a little more ankle support. Um, but these are really super comfortable. Of course, they got the wide toe box, wide uh, sole. Um, I wore these in New Mexico, and we did a an 18 mile day with some pretty good elevation change. And my feet were golden that day. Uh, they did hurt at the end of the day because we came down this really rocky trail and uh, stepped on a couple rocks wrong, and it just you know it, it did hurt the, like the ball of my foot. Uh, but no blisters, uh, no, no hot spots, nothing with issues. They are, they are fantastic. I love them. Um, they're super comfortable. And uh, I'm already researching getting another pair ordered and have them probably sent to me at some point. For electronics, I have the Anchor. Uh, this one's a 10,000 milliamp uh, charger. I have one that's a little bigger. They're both heavy. Uh, between the two, you know, that, it's almost a pound of weight which is heavy, but I want to be able to charge my, um, my electronics. I have a headlamp that's rechargeable, the Nightcore headlamp, um, as, as well as, you know, my phone and anything else that, you know, I may take along like an MP3 player for music and stuff like that. So I'm going to start out with two of those. We'll see how it goes. Um, most of the time when I'm hiking, my phone will be in airplane mode. And, uh, but you know, I'll be accessing apps like the gut hooks app and things like that. So, I want to be able to charge those things up and I'll have some type of uh, charging block that I can plug in at the hostel or the motels to uh, run several cables to and, and charge the, the various items that I have. So that's, uh, that's my gear in a nutshell really. Um, the pack I'm going to be starting with uh, in February is my Osprey Zenith 88. I know, I know, I know. It's a huge pack. It's five and a half pounds, um, but that thing fits like a glove. I've hiked with in it for many years. It's super comfortable. Um, I have the confidence of carrying the gear I need to carry in that. I did buy a Z-Pack, uh, Z-Pack's Arc Zip, which is a 64 liter pack. I can't get everything in there with, uh, you know, four days of food in a bag. Um, my stuff compresses down good, but it doesn't compress down that good. So that's going to be my warm weather uh, backpack. Once I can send some of these things home and not have to carry them anymore, uh, I'll switch back over to a lighter backpack probably when I get back into Virginia at some point uh, in April, I'm guessing. Um, so, but I am carrying that pack. I have confidence in it. It fits well. It's comfortable. Uh, I know I can get everything in it with plenty of room to spare. Uh, just because it's an 88 liter pack does not mean I'm going to put that much stuff in it and overload it. I just like how everything fits in it uh, comfortably and uh, somewhat organized. Uh, and I really like the Osprey packs. The thing is, if anything happens to that pack, um, they have a lifetime guarantee, which I really like. So, but I will be switching over to a lightweight or an ultra lightweight backpack, uh, you know, as I get into Virginia and the weather warms up and, 
and I can send some winter gear home and start scaling things back. I think I figured it up last night with my summer setup. Um, I'm setting less than 14 pounds with my base weight. So that's pretty good. Um, right now with all the stuff I've shown you, including the backpack, uh, my total uh, base weight is just under 20 pounds. I'm at 19.95 pounds. So not too bad. That doesn't include food and water, of course. Um, and, you know, I'll be wearing a full set of clothes um, and an extra set of clothes in the, in the backpack. So I think that's going to be it. Um, everything is pretty much set. I'm going to get a couple more training hikes in. Um, I've arranged to... For a place to stay already in um, between Amicola and Gainesville, Georgia. So I've got a ride from the train station. I got a place to stay and a ride to the um, the uh, trailhead. So all I got to do is book my train ticket from Manassas to Gainesville, and uh, we'll be locked in. So looking forward to it. Um, stay tuned. Um, my videos are coming out out about every two weeks right now. Um, right now it's sleeting and snowing and raining. It's awful outside. Um, so I'm set up. Uh, doing this video out of the elements for the most part. So, wish everybody a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating. I um, hope you have a great holiday season with uh, your loved ones and you have uh, much to celebrate. Thanks again for watching my channel. I, uh, I'm up to like 122 subscribers. I, I, I'm blown away by that because I started with like three. Um, and my, you know, my family was most of those. So, Please, if you see any value in this video, please hit the like button. Um, that improves the analytics when uh, search features and stuff like that. So hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, ring that notification bell so that uh, you get notified anytime I upload new videos. And uh, feel free to comment below if you have any questions, um, anything you wanna know about me or my gear or the trip or anything like that. Uh, feel free to comment. I look forward to interacting with all of you. Uh, thank you in advance for the support. Uh, I know nobody makes this hike alone. Uh, it takes a, an incredible support system to, to make this happen and be successful. So, and I intend to be one of the su successful hikers that goes from uh, Amicalola Falls, Georgia to Katahdin, Maine. Uh, I'm excited. I can hardly wait to get started and um, it's going to be fun. So thanks for following me with this journey and uh, have a great evening, and uh, again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.